Hey fam Ballser, and today I'm gonna show you how to make your own monogram. Now I'm thinking that with my monogram, I might put it on a notebook or a t-shirt, I don't know, you guys tell me what you would do with your monogram. But first, let's talk about how you're gonna make this. Now we're gonna do that in Scan and Cut Canvas, and it all starts with a computer, a laptop, a tablet, something like that. We're gonna navigate to Scan and Cut Canvas. And here you can see in Scan and Cut Canvas, I'm just gonna press New to open up a new document. And as soon as that opens, we're actually gonna use the built-in fonts in Scan and Cut Canvas. There's a kind of black letter font that's really great for monograms. So I can find those right here on the left side under Text. And the font I wanna use is right there, so I'm going to click on it. And it will come over, you can see here. So I'm gonna double click inside there and then I'm just going to use my arrow keys to navigate through and delete out the thing that says text. And I'm gonna put in the first letter, which is a capital B. You can see it there. Now, sometimes it's a little more clear on how this looks if you go up to the properties panel, and instead of an outline, if you actually fill that letter in, then I can see it a little more clearly. I'm gonna get rid of the outline, and now I've done the fill. I'm gonna X out of the properties panel, and you can see my B looks beautiful. So now I want to add two more letters, so I'm gonna repeat that same process. And again, I can resize it by dragging right at the corners. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a lowercase j and a lowercase f, because those are my initials, Julie F. Balzer. And once that is done, then again, I wanna go up to the properties panel and make sure that these are easy to see and easy to grab so I don't have to think about that at all. Now you can see that my letters are all different sizes. And what I really want is I want the letter, the big B to be big, and then I want the J and the F to be about the same size. So, but smaller than the F. So I'm just gonna keep playing with it visually, dragging at those corners until it's exactly how I want it to be. And then once the sizes are right, I'm gonna nestle the J and the F right where I want them. That looks pretty good to me. If I'm at all nervous, I can select them all, go to edit, and I can have the computer actually align them for me so that I know that it's actually all perfectly center aligned. Then I'm going to select them all by dragging over them, go up to edit one more time, and then I'm gonna group them. Now, as you can see, all those blue boxes changed into one big blue box, and this allows me to move it all as once. Now, how about that circle? Well, there are a whole bunch of built-in shapes under basic, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a circle. And again, the resizing is the same. I'm gonna resize it so that it fits right around there. And once again, I'm gonna use those alignment tools by selecting everything so both boxes come up, up to edit. Let's do center align one way and center align the other way. And now all that's left is to cut it. And you can see that I've cut mine out of vinyl. Now this is the inside of this. So if you weed it carefully, you actually get two for the price of one, or you can simply cut it twice and just weed it differently each time. For more tips, tricks, and techniques, be sure to visit my blog at ballsordesigns.typepad.com, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget about the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com.